The number one complaint people have isn't rising gas prices, a looming recession, or a politically divided country. It's that there's not enough Greta Thunberg anymore. And I'm here to change that. I'm kind of like Greta Thunberg 2.0. Follow my journey as I crusade to fight climate change. You know, as great as she is, one thing negative that people say about Greta that I seek to improve on is that she used way too much science when she was yelling at people. That's why I'm basing all my rageful demands on the factual science fiction of gender ideology. What do you think the carbon footprint is of walking over to that tree? Maybe I'll just stay here. Like, temperatures have risen by 30% in the last three months alone. That's because it's summertime now. No, that's got nothing to do with it. That's it, the sun. If we can just harness more of its power, we can shut down all coal burning power plants. Uh, the sun's over there. Oh, that's it? That's hard to tell which star is which up there. As you can see, severe weather is being caused by gender conforming norms based in Western colonial climatism. Aside from heat, the only thing causing the polar ice caps to melt is systemic racism. Why do you say that? I don't say that. The science says that. Is that valid science? Yeah, I, I wrote it in marker. But you spelled it wrong. <sighs> is this because I'm 1 16th non-binary Labrador retriever? No. How dare you! <laughs> Look out for that tidal wave! Just wait for it, it's coming! You know, I don't wanna sound like I'm complaining about Greta because she's a national treasure and all, but she's a white, cis, hetero, angry, normative mamble, so she's not nearly diverse enough. So I'll be improving my expertise on climate change by increasing the diversity of myself as I share that I feel most resonant in my being with all pronouns. And I also identify as all things at all times. So that's pretty good. These core samples that I took from deep beneath the Earth's surface shows that Earth's temperature has risen dramatically ever since the sun came up this morning. It's clear that we need to increase the number of children attending drag shows. You know, there's actually one problem with solar energy it is that we get it from the solar system but there's no solar system in the sky at nighttime. But what if we could harness solar power 24 hours a day? So I've devised a plan that would have massive stadium lights facing solar panels to provide power around the clock. What would power the lights? Light bulbs. To help do my part to cut down on carbon emissions, I never fly to America. I only sail my boat. Cool, what's your boat made out of? Carbon fiber. Check this out. Dairy farms cause 123% of the holes in the ozone layer caused by car pollution. So what we need to do as a species is outlaw milk and use almond milk as our exclusive milk substitute. But because almonds require a massive amount of clean water in order to grow, we should use oat milk to substitute for the almond milk that substitutes for the actual milk. Me and my generation are the resistance creating change by fighting the establishment. And because the corporations and the government advertise our movement, we know we're the resistance. Uh, you're standing on a fire ant pile. Yep. <clears throat> uh, I thought I felt something. I just thought it was a climate crisis getting my legs. Ooh, I am tired. It's been a busy day yelling at people that know more than me.